Hey, Shalom, uh, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. Uh, all praise unto Yahweh, Shimi Yahshai, Bashim Akakadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honest you brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. So, they say it's going to be a quick video, and I'm going I'm to call this video The Heavenly Father Only Needs to Have Mercy on You one time okay or as close to that title as i can physically get and the inspiration of this title is the adversity uh that we as brothers endure within this truth where you're supposed to endure all right and the natural sort of thought pattern that you get within this truth is to think that you are the victim all right of this um persecution when in reality you're the perpetrator of the sin and therefore a privy to the judgment of the heavenly father yabashimi alshai bashimi makaka dash rotaza abashi bobo mo yabashimi alshai and um you know you went off you didn't keep to the laws statutes commandments of the heavenly father and as a result a result a direct result you are uh, getting the, the the judgment from all of these different things that you had done okay so i just wanted to go over some ideas okay some uh, uh with that particular idea and um you know expound on sort of what, I, what you know what i came up with or what i thought about this week all right so like i said the video the, or the the essence of the video can be encapsulated in one statement and that the in that is that the heavenly father uh pretty much um the heavenly father pretty much can is can only has to have mercy on you the one time man all right you know, we go through these different things that we, you know, we go through. It might be hell at work, which right now that's that's uh, uh, something I'm going through right now with with a particular coworker. And you know, you just pray to the heavenly Father. You pray to the heavenly Father for mercy, but guess what? The heavenly Father pretty much doesn't have to do nothing. Okay, the heavenly Father for you to make it. The heavenly Father doesn't need to do anything. Okay, the most I can have you lose your job, lose your family. Uh, lose your woman, uh, lose your, uh, um, uh, your your wits. Okay, you could you know this truth will push you towards the the edge of your wits. Um, but the, the Lord only has to have mercy on you one time for you to make it into the kingdom of 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 Yahweh Shimei Shai. And guess what? When that's gonna be, man. I mean, I mean, I'm sure you've already figured out where I'm going with this video. Okay, the Mosai only has to have mercy on you one time, and that's on Judgment Day, man. Okay. When you got World War Three popping loose throughout the four corners of the earth, that's that's really the day you need that mercy, <laughs> because when you read the scriptures, you find out that our righteousness was as, as filthy rags, and we really are worthy of more punishments than we are uh, subjugated unto. Now we understand through the scriptures. I can start here. I was going to start here within the book of Deuteronomy, the twenty-eighth chapter, on the sixty. Um, 65th verse I think it is But let's start here within the book of Zechariah The 13th chapter Now we know from the scriptures that the heavenly father Was going to afflict the elect Okay We're going to read that in a second And that affliction was supposed to be the um, The the judgment for their sins Whereas the The, 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 the Israelites that was going to be destroyed In the world's war 3 The judgment for their sins was going to be the world's war 3 We all had to go through some form of judgment Even Yahweh Shai whom the world calls Jesus had to go through some form of affliction for his um and which of which he got a major affliction. Okay, you think about the judgment that's gonna come upon these people, all right, and you compare that to what Yahweh Shai got, the Heavenly Father's son definitely took the uh, 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 a beating, quote unquote. Okay, but remember, he also was going through that affliction for the reminiscence of sin uh, of the children of Israel. All right, so when 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 you go into where the, the men of the Lord are going to go through their affliction, well, you're going to be paying some of those sins off that you committed when you was in the world. All right, uh, Zechariah 13 and 9, it says, I'll bring the third part, which is the elect, through the fire, and I'll refine them as silver is refined. Now, the refinement that we're getting here is the affliction. The scripture says within the book of Ecclesiastes, the second chapter, how that we was going to be purified all right in the furnace of adversity that's how we was going to be purified we we're going to be purified in the furnace of adversity but like again like i said 
You might be going through that furnace of adversity like Job was going through that furnace of adversity. Okay? And what does the scripture say about Job? Not in the book of Job, but in the latter parts of the scriptures. It says, remember Job. I remember that he was increased, not during, all right? Not at the beginning, although he did start off with increase. The most I afflicted Job, and then he increased him at the last end, all right? Again, that's the essence of this video. This, this video is to remind you. And the most I really ain't going to do it like that, okay? The Heavenly Father ain't just going to leave you out here raw like that. You might feel like it. But at the end of the day, if you you if you got the wits to do this work, okay, hence the daily, you know, we pray Abaratasa, you know, Abanawash, Bashmayan, Kadashi, Shamka, etc., etc. And we say we pray for what? We pray for our daily bread. All right. The most high is gonna provide you with daily bread. It might not feel like it. But at the end of the day, there's gonna be enough there for you to push this word. Okay, there's always gonna be enough there for you to push this word. All right. And the most I only has to have mercy on you in the last end, okay? Look at the different people that fell out of this truth. You think that they, were, they wasn't getting mercy when they was in this truth? Some of them got the, the mercy that they got was getting cursed out, okay? You had the individuals that came into this truth. I can remember one particular individual. Uh, and you know what? I, you know, I like the, the, the person, all right, when they was in the truth, you would have thought that, the, you know, this guy was blessed by, by the Holy Spirit three times over, Okay? But when it came time for the actual mercy to present itself, and this is this is this is an interesting statement. This is because sometimes the mercy of the heavenly Father is not going to come in the form that you want it in, and that's where you really have to pray to the heavenly Father that you move into alignment with what He feels is uh, is, is judgment for you. Okay, you could be praying for a particular job, but the most I might give you a basic job. You could be praying for, 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 for more money so you could take care of your family in, in a way that you feel that you want to take care of them. But the most I might say, no, actually, you're doing all right. Okay, remember, you got what's known as dispositions, man. Some people have a disposition to try and make it out within the society. But guess what? The more you go up within the society, the more the truth suffers. Okay? But going back onto the, you know, the, to, to, to this particular video on this particular sermon... All right, I, 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 you really ain't gonna have it so bad that you're gonna feel like, no, I'm just gonna off it. I mean, you shouldn't be getting to that stage, man. All right, but even if it did get to that stage, well, the statement still remains that the Heavenly Father only has to have mercy on you when the chariots are there, man. And that's what you're supposed to be fighting for. You gotta, you gotta visualize the kingdom, and that's difficult when you're catching hell. You're trying to think about what the kingdom is like and how you could use that to motivate you. No, you're just catching hell. All you can think about is the hell. It's like 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 one particular demon that I have to fight is sleeplessness. Now you think about sleeplessness, yeah? You ain't thinking about sleeping when you're you ain't thinking about being awake when you're when you got sleeplessness, man. You ain't thinking about doing all the things that you would do if you was fully awake. You're thinking about sleeping. <laughs> okay? You ain't thinking about uh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna go run and play a basketball game. I'm gonna be fresh. You're thinking about when's you know when does the the clock uh, 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 gonna move to a, a time when I can go home from work and I can get that sleeping. All right, and that's how this thing is gonna. That's how that's that's how that's how this thing is really is difficult because the things that we hope for become even harder to hope for. All right, because we're flesh. All right. When we're going through these particular afflictions, that's why it's good to stay within balance, stay within your boundaries. When you're doing good, hey, just back off of that goodness, man. All right, you, you really you go and you start, you know, hitting a particular stride in a particular zone. You know, everything's going well. Hey, I'd recommend you just back off of not feeding off of that because the more you feed into that, the more the crash is gonna burn you. And the same time, when you're crashing, hey, it's good to good to good to play music that that lifts up your spirit. Watch particular videos that lift up your spirit. And really, every brother should have a, a particular playlist that they have to lift up their spirit. I haven't done that, but as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yo, that would actually be useful. Okay, it's, you know, you're going, you're on a downer, right? The most I is, you know, afflicting you for your iniquity. It'd be good to have your pump playlist, all right, of particular videos that calls to remembrance the objective of the mission. Hence the statement, the Heavenly Father only has to have mercy on you one time. And that's the day of judgment. But the Heavenly Father is going to do way more than that anyway. Okay, so that's a bonus, all right? So that's pretty much the video. Oh, let's get this scripture. I said I was going to get it. I mean, it's not necessary. I suppose I, 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 I pretty much hit the point. 
But that's the video, you know, hopefully it was a verification. With that, I'm going to say all praise unto Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shim, Yahweh Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. And I honor you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.